All right? Now, so we're looking for the equation of the larger circle, the big circle. So if you look at the big circle, the center is at the origin. So my A is zero and my B is zero. But what is the radius of the circle? That's a radius. That's another radius. I have this zero, zero, and I have that. So we can simply use our distance. So my R is OP, and that is equal to the square root of 4 minus 0 squared plus negative 6 minus 0 squared. So OP, which is my radius. So next time we shouldn't take this long, would be what? 4 squared, which is what? 16 plus 36. And that is simply root what? 52. And R is therefore 2 root 13. So what's the equation of the circle? Remember the format? What is the format of the equation of the circle? X minus A squared plus Y minus B squared equals to what? R squared. So X minus 0 squared plus Y minus 0 squared. And what is my, guys, what is my R? My R is 2 root 13. And some of you, I saw you made a mistake. You forgot the squared. All right? So this is simply X squared plus Y squared. And that should be equal to square root of 52. That's the equation of the circle. Everybody okay now? All right. Please get me 4.2.2. Equation of the small circle in the form of x squared plus y squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals to zero. Equation of the small circle. Equation of the small circle. Let's see what you are going to get. Three marks. Equation of the small circle. Guys, can we work with time? Let's work this out in one minute. Equation of the small circle. Let's try. I'll be waiting for your answers as you come through. I've got a question there. Yes, Savage. Is it, you mean on the other question? Yes, it is. Or for which one? Your question that came in now, Savage. Is it for 4.2.1 or 4.2.2? Your question now. Is it... With regards to 4.2.1 or Savage, I'm waiting. You said, is it wrong to use two and negative three for A and B? Of which circle? We have two circles here, so you need to be specific. Type in your answers when you're done. So I think what she means is that we use two and three as the origin point of the small circle. I'm lost. I'm lost. Origin point. What do we mean by origin point of the small circle in Kanyezi? Let's make it simple. To get the equation of the circle, what do we need? We need the center of that circle and the radius of that circle. That's all we need. The center of that circle and 
the radius of that particular circle. So we are looking at the small circle right now. So what is the coordinate of the center of the small circle? That's where we are. So our focus is on the small circle. So let's get that. Small circle. In fact, let me do this to help you. Maybe this would help. Uh, okay, this thing is not working for me here. All right, we're here. That's where we are. That's your focus. That is your focus. So leave anything on the big circle alone. Small circle. Okay, somebody's watching TV there while working. You cannot be watching TV and working. Come here in COVID-19. Leave COVID-19 alone. All right, I'm having answers. X squared. Somebody says X squared plus Y squared minus 4X plus 6Y equals to zero. Nontando, you have X squared plus Y squared minus 4X plus 6Y plus 12. Okay, can we check? Because I'm seeing different answers. Cynthia, your answer must be equal to zero. Your answer must be equal to zero answer must be equal in that format equal to zero All right, we're going to work through right now. You guys are taking so long, and it's a three marks question. You guys are taking so long. We want the equation of the small circle. Equation of the small circle. What do you need, again, to get the equation of a circle? People, you will see I'm going to do this in less than a minute. Okay, but come you have 39. Okay, I, I do have issues now with what we're doing. And guys, we are going to keep doing this and you are going to do a whole lot of work. All right, so we have a circle that looks like this. And I'm not sure why we're struggling with this now. We have the equation of a circle here. This is four and negative six, zero and zero. We want the equation of the circle. First, 
I told us we need A and B, right? We need A and B. Uh, I'm going to try something to send the video of this lesson. Yes, A and B, okay? Now, if we want A and B, which is the midpoint, already we did that earlier on, and we got two and negative three. Remember, it is everything on this circle. Okay, my network is saying unstable. Two and negative three. What is the radius of the circle? You can simply calculate, although we got, we got this as the length here. If you remember, we got this length and we got, uh, was it two root 13? Yes. Can I say that the radius of the circle is going to be square root of 13? Okay, um, let's work through together now. Please, if you are lost here, it means we have a lot of work to do quickly. All right, root 13. Are you okay with my root 13? If you're not okay, we can simply use the distance formula. You can simply use the distance formula. And I'm not going to write that down. I'm just going to put my values on the calculator. All right. It is the square root of 2 minus 4 all squared plus um, negative 3 minus negative 6 distance formula. And that gives me root 13. All right. So that's the radius of the circle. Now, what is my formula? X minus A squared plus Y minus B squared equals to what? R squared. Can we substitute quickly? X, what is my A? My A is what? 2. X minus 2 squared plus Y minus negative 3 squared. What's my radius? Root 13, but it is all what? Squared. So what are we going to get? x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared. Uh, this is going to be plus 3. So it's going to be plus um, 6y. All right. No, negative. Uh, yeah, it's plus. Plus 9 equals to what? Root 13. Am I right there? Because my r is root 13. All right, and if I squared or if I square root 13, I should have 13. All right, everybody okay? So, what do we have? x squared. What do we have? x squared minus 4x plus y squared minus 6y. What is 4 plus 9? 4 plus 9 is 13. And if I bring this 13 over, it becomes negative. And that's your three marks there, guys. That is your three marks. So for those of you that got it correct, well done. For those of you that got it wrong, please check what we did. All right. I hope that's fine now. So that's how to get the equation of the circle. Now, if I ask you to get me the center of the circle, if I give you this, can you walk backwards? I'm just going to do it for you to save time. Can you work backwards? What do you do? You open your bracket quickly. Equals to zero there. X and Y squared, squared. What is negative four divided by negative two? Right? Remember, coefficient. Sir, wasn't the radius two root 13? No, that's the diameter. Galaxy J5, the diameter, if you go back. Okay, so Y negative six. All right, let's go back. J5, you can simply calculate the radius. Yeah, oh, the radius is what? Two root 13. We have two and negative three. Let's see. Uh, what did we get for the diameter earlier on? Let me just confirm something, root 52. No, OP, OP, watch this. You, you guys don't confuse yourself. OP is 2 root 13, OP. OP is the radius of the big circle. Our focus is on the small circle. All right, on the small circle, on the small circle. And that's why I drew that circle for you on the small circle. 
and I use the distance formula again to get root 13. Galaxy, are you fine now? So be careful with the big and the small circle. All right? Um, somebody size, it size, says why, so why negative six? Why negative six? Uh, oh, sorry, it's plus, plus six y, thank you. Thank you, plus six y. All right. Are we okay now? Now, so if I, what is negative four divided by negative two? That will give me negative two. All right. Remember what we said. We square that answer immediately. Negative two squared will give me plus what? Four. Then we come here. Positive six divided by two would give me positive what? Three. We square positive three. That is nine. We add that nine to the side. Plus nine. Okay. All right, plus nine. My board did not want to write there. So what do you have? X minus two squared plus Y plus three squared equals to four plus nine, which will give me what? 13. Do you see now? So what do I have? X minus A squared plus Y minus B squared equals to R squared. And what is my A from there? Quickly, if you compare, my A is two my B is negative three, and my R squared is what? 13, which means my R is square root of 13. All right, please take note of this. Here, take note. Um, I always prefer you comparing because learners make a whole lot of mistake. But for those of you that see it, all we need to do is to change the sign here. X minus two, that means A is two. Y plus three, it means B is negative three. But if you don't want to make that mistake, just compare. If you compare these two brackets, negative A equals to negative 2, therefore A is 2. Negative B equals to 3, therefore B is negative. I prefer it that way because of experience from dealing with a whole lot of learners. All right. I hope that is all right with us. Good. So we already know how to get the equation of a circle and the center of a circle. You can therefore go through that material and find a whole lot of other questions to do. All right. I want to introduce you to two things before this lesson is over. Is it possible that we substitute coordinate of P to find R or R squared since we have coordinate of M, which is the midpoint? Yeah, you can. You can. Is it possible to substitute the coordinate of P? Since we to find R, yes, you can. You can do that as well. As long as you get the R, you'll be fine. All right, quickly. Relationship between tangent and a circle. Relationship between tangent and a circle. All right, so look at this quickly. If I have uh, my circle there, and that being a diameter, I want to draw a tangent. Now, now I'm going to bring in Euclidean. I'm going to bring in my Euclidean geometry. Uh, okay, I'm not getting, let me draw another one. No, I can just move this around. I want it to be a tangent at that point. Savage, check your system. He says he cannot hear me. Guys, can you hear me? If you can hear me, please say yes. Quickly, somebody says they can't hear me. All right, everyone can hear me, so it is, it is your side. Uh, who else cannot hear me? Kanyezi also says, okay, you can hear me, lovely. All right, good. Thank you, guys. Now, if I have a tangent there, so quickly check your own connection there. That's a tangent. 
all right? If that is a tangent, what do we know from Euclidean geometry? What do we know from Euclidean geometry? We know that the radius and the tangent actually share um, an angle that is 90 degrees, all right? So we know that condition that says radius is perpendicular to 10. And if that's the case, you know what it, what it means? It means, it simply means M rad times M tan is equal to negative one. Because examiners will now ask you to calculate the equation of a tangent, all right? They'll ask you to calculate the equation of a tangent. So M rad, that's why we had to do this grade 11 work quickly. M rad times M tan equals to negative what? One. All right. So you need that. And you can simply get the gradient here, MR, and use that to get the gradient of the tangent. And then you work through. All right. Finally, for today. Finally, for today. I hope that makes sense. Relationship between tangent and a circle. I hope that makes sense. I actually love that. Somebody can just uh, please take a screenshot of this and send it on the group. I just like to post some of these pictures that you sent. Somebody take a group and send, send it to me, please. You take a screen grab and send it to me. All right. Now, finally, I want to look at something here. Then I'll give you questions to do. Then we can find a time to mark. I'll let you know when we would mark this. But let's do this quickly. Um, intersecting circles. Intersecting circles. Let me put, I want to put two things down. Um, a point in or out of a circle. I want to look at these two very fast. Good. Two things that I want to look at. A point in or out of a circle. So you need to follow through. Intersect. So let's look at the first one. Intersecting circles. When do we say circles are intersecting? Intersecting circles. All right, we are going to have three scenarios. We're going to have three cases here. Three cases. Three study cases. One. All right. One is this. So you, you just need to take a screenshot of this when I'm done. All right, circle one and circle two. So we call this R1 and we'll call this R2. All right, please look at this. Remember here, I have A1 and B1, center of the circle there. What will I have here? A2, B2. Uh, Lindo, you need to refresh your phone quickly. You need to refresh, log in and log out or so it's your network. All right. Now, somebody will send you a screenshot of this. Case one. All right. D is the distance. Let's call D as the distance between the centers of the circle. So let's call this A and let's call this B. So D is the distance. So D, which is, let's call this AB. All right. Now, we, how do we know that these circles are overlapping or intersecting? All right. We would calculate D. So calculate D, which is the length of what? AB. Calculate D which is AB. If R1 plus R2 is greater than D, watch this. So we have our radius R1, the length of the radius there, and the length of the radius here, R2. If it is greater 
than D. D is the distance between the two circles. Then the circle is overlapping. And when it's overlapping, it actually cuts in how many places? Two places. Oh, my time is running out. It cuts in C and D. It's overlapping and intersects twice. Two times. It is overlapping and intersect two times. All right overlapping and intersect twice. Do you want to take a screenshot of that? Yeah, I think you can have a screenshot of that. Please take a screenshot and send to me as well. Good. All right, thank you very much. I'm sure somebody just sent it. So in case you missed the note as well. All right, so you have that. I'm sure you have a screenshot already. Lovely. So that's the first case, intersecting and overlapping. So what you do is you calculate the distance AB. How do you get the distance AB? Using the distance what? Formula, because we have our coordinate. All right. Compare that. R1 plus R2. Remember, you already know how to get the radius of the circles. R1 plus R2 greater than D means that the circles are overlapping. Let's check case, case number two. Case number two. Look at case number two. Case number two. I'm going to draw smaller circles now. Case number two. Good. Perfectly fits for me. Case number two. Circle one and circle two. R1 again. R2. Now the length here, you would notice the length here looks equal. So if R1 plus R2 is equal to D, what happens? Circles are touching without overlapping. And share a common ta tangent. They actually share a common what? Tangent. There. Do you notice that that single tangent now is shared amongst both, uh, it's shared between both circles. R1, so this is the key to remember, R1 plus R2 equals to D. Just screenshot quickly. Screenshot. All right. And number three. Okay, did you take screenshots? Let me... Uh, let me drop the circle a bit so that we can... I want that set. All right, good. Please take a screenshot now. All right, I think I have it better now. Take a screenshot and you can go through the notes a bit later. Okay, now number three, case number three. Case number three. Look at this circle. All right, look at these two circles. R1. R2, D. Do you notice R1 plus R2 is now less than D? Because there's a space here, there's a void here that we're not taking care of. So that means D is longer because of that space. Here, circles don't touch each other. Circles don't touch each other. So again, that's the condition. All right? That's the condition. Screenshot quickly so we can move on.
these are high other questions that you'll find. These are your level four questions that people don't really talk about. But now I'm glad you got a hind of this. All right. Now the final thing, how do you find out if a point is in a circle or not? All right. So point in or out of a circle. Point in or out of a circle. I have that. I want to find out if a point is in the circle, all right, on the circle, or out of the circle. So in, on, or out of a circle. So I have a point there. In or out of a circle. How do you know a point is in, on the circle, or out of the circle? So A is in, B lies on, and C is out of the circle. This is what you quickly do. Calculate the length of the point from the center. These are analytical thinking now. That is, get OA, get OB, and get OC. Get OA, get OB, and get OC. All right? So we get OA, we get OB, and we look for OC. We calculate the length. Remember, you can calculate that because we do have the coordinates of the center of the circle and all of that. All right. What is now my conclusion? If OA is less than the radius, then it is inside the circle. I hope the diagram also makes sense. If OA is equal to the radius, let's use math. Let's just use mathematics to write it. If OA is less than R, it is inside. If OA is equal to R, it is on the circle. And if OA is greater than R, it lies what? Outside. I hope that makes sense. Uh, no, no, no. I should say OB and OC. OB and OC. I hope it makes sense. OA, if the radius, if the length of OA is smaller, you can see it's in the circle, smaller than the circle. If it is equal to the radius, it is probably on the circle. And if it is greater, then it is outside the circle. I hope that makes a whole lot of sense. All right, I want to finish this class in two minutes. All right, I want to finish this class in two minutes. We're supposed to have um, physics class, but that would delay for about uh, 15 minutes as well. All right, I hope this makes sense. Screenshot again, screenshot. And I want to write something here. If B is on the circle, just to prove again, then substitute the X value you will get the y value. I'll explain what I mean. So if I were to give you, if I were to give you a point here, all right, if I were to give you a point on x, and I say, is b on the, value, on the circle, all you need to do is to substitute that value. If you get the corresponding y value, then, I think we did something like that when we're looking for the equation of a line. All right. So substitute the X value you are given. You should also get the Y value that you are given. All right. Look, these are the theory that I need us to go through. Um, your homework would be, I need us to do a few questions, which you are going to try. I'm just going to give you the page number. You might not see anything right now. Don't worry. Um, 
homework would be page 28, 29, page 28, 29, and 30. Page 28, 29, and 30 of that material that we have. Page 28, 29, let's have four. 